Alright guys, so there's a lot of people having issues with Modern Warfare Warzone and it comes down to everything from the frame rate to lagginess inside the game to stutter steps to skipping to all kinds of issues whenever it comes to end, kind, uh, end, end time content. I'm sorry, let me, uh, let me actually correct that term real quick. So uh, there's an issue whenever you jump into the game, you got people that have great graphics cards like 2060 RTXs, 2080 RTXs, like what I got. Um, and you just got all kinds of issues, right? And it's just not working. I'm sorry, I don't have a 2080, it's a 2070 RTX, which is perfectly fine. It should be working just fine. And it's overclocked, so it should be working phenomenally, right? I run at a 144 hertz monitor, and I should be getting 144 hertz in the game. We're gonna get to we're gonna get to fixing that right now. We're gonna show you guys exactly what you can do to fix this issue and get you in the game running just the way you need to be in just a minute so as you can see we're at the, uh, the main menu of my desktop right we've got blizzard up we're just going to go ahead and close it out just like we're starting fresh right um, the only things i've got open right now is of course spotify because i kind of want music going on in the background it's it's just my preference it's what i like so that's what we're going to do okay and i got express vpn on and I'm in Alaska and I'm still getting my frames and I'm having zero connection issues, which is really great. So as soon as I connect to Seattle, it's just going to be phenomenal. No issues. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you something, right? Before I got into the game, I was getting anywhere between 89 to 95 frames while in game, which is ridiculous whenever it comes to Warzone. It should be optimized, right? It's it's beautiful it's a great triple a game you want to actually be able to go in jump and do what you're supposed to do unfortunately it doesn't always work that way so what you're going to do is you're going to open up the blizzard app right and the first thing you're going to do is once you go in you're going to check to see if there's any updates that needs to happen to do that you need to go up to the options tab you need to go and you need to scan uh, not scan for repair but check for updates obviously i just did that recently um just because I, I always like to see if Blizzard, Blizzard is up to date and if the game is up to date. Okay, so we're back. And what we're going to do is we're going to check for updates. Once you do that, it should say up to date on the uh, bottom side next to the play button. If it's up to date, you're good. Go to options. And what I want you to do then is I want you to go to show and explore. What this is going to do is it's going to open up your files tab, right? I want you to go to... Call of Duty, right here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I want you to double click it, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down until you see Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Launcher. You're going to right click and you're gonna hit Properties, okay? Next, you're gonna go to the Compatibility, uh, compatibility tab and you're gonna check on Disable Full Screen Optimizations and run this program as an administrator. The reason why you want to do this is because if you run it as an administrator, you're letting this game be able to run at its max capacity. And whenever you disable the full screen optimizations, it's basically disabling Windows from making any optimizations to your game whenever you're in full screen. So if you're in full screen borderless or full screen and you've been having issues, that would be one of the reasons why. So you want to go ahead and check both of these, hit apply, and then hit OK right and then you're going to do the same thing to modern warfare properties compatibility check disable full screen optimizations and then check run this program as an administrator click apply and then click ok once you do that you're okay and you're done with this so you can you can go ahead and close out the window next what i want you to do is i want you to go to your browser whether it's chrome or internet explorer I like to use Chrome because I just find it more reliable. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look up this program right here. It's called Process Lasso, right? You're gonna go to Google, you're gonna type in Process Lasso. You're gonna click on the first link and then you're gonna hit the download button. Once you do, you should see a download uh, file that pops up right here. Click it, open it and go through the download um, and installation, uh, installate, Jesus, dude. Installation phase. Once you do that, 
and the process is completely finished, open up the program. This is Process Lasso. Basically, if you've noticed any stuttering or any issues inside the game, like skipping or any issues like that where you're lagging or you're feeling like uh, you're not making your shots, your, mouth, your mouse movements are moving incorrectly, um, what you can do is you can download this program. What it does is it actually equalizes everything between your GPU and your CPU and actually makes it to where it runs better. I, I, I can't really I can't really say it processes it it processes everything better. So whenever you scroll down, all you're gonna do is you're gonna run and you're gonna look for modern warfare. Never mind. Wait a minute. We gotta open up the game first. It says the game is open. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Process Lasso. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you see Modern Warfare. What you're gonna do is you're going to right click on it, go to Priority Class, go to Current, and set it to Normal. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing to Always, and you're gonna set it to Normal. Once you do that, you're gonna see the Priority Class has changed to normal. So the game is actually running normal, like how it's supposed to be, right? Once you do this, you can minimize the screen. Next, what I want you to do is I want you to go to your options and I want you to go to your graphic settings. Once you do this, don't mess with full screen or full screen borderless. It's your, it's your, it's your choice on what you want to do, it's user's preference, but I like to use full screen borderless because whenever I use alt tab, I can just quickly go to my tabs and the game still opens so I can see what's going on. Underneath that, you're gonna have your display monitor. If you have multiple monitors, make sure you choose your gaming monitor. If you have multiple graphics cards, make sure you choose your graphics card that you're actually using for the game. And then you're gonna see that we have our screen refresh rate, which is set to 144 Hertz, which is my monitor max refresh rate. So after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down, make sure that you have the render resolution to 100%. If you don't have this to 100%, you're actually dialing down your resolution and you're not gonna get your max resolution from your monitor. I.e., if you go to 80, you're gonna be probably running at about 720p um, instead of 1080p. Okay, so once we go down, you're gonna make sure that aspect ratio is set to automatic. You're gonna make sure that your V-Sync is disabled and you're gonna set a custom frame rate limit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the advanced tab. You're gonna set your max frame, li your max frame rate limit to your gaming monitor or if you have a television connected to it, it's max refresh rate. So if you have a 120 hertz monitor, you're gonna hunt, you're gonna put 120 right there. Below that, you have your mis your menu custom frame rate limit. What this is is the max frames in which the menu is going to have, which you can see on the top left hand corner of the screen, which is set to 62, 63. It fluctuates. It's supposed to be capped at 60, but I'm not complaining, just because it's working. So. Go ahead and set your custom menu frame rate limit to 60. And then below that, you're gonna have out of focus cam, uh, custom frame rate limit to 30, which means everything that's out of your focus in the game is going to be dialed down to 30 frames per second. We're gonna go ahead and collapse this and go down. Next, you have your texture resolution. This is based completely off of your GPU or your graphics processing unit. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna max this all the way to high, right? So the reason why you're gonna max it all the way to high is because it's using just your GPU. This is a CPU intensive game, but texture resolution uses mainly your GPU. So max that out as high as you possibly can or as much as what your graphics card can handle. Below that is your, uh, your texture filter and a tropic to turn everything low. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this just to keep it short. Just turn everything low because whenever you max out everything else, it's gonna be CPU intensive. So in order to run your frames at a great capacity, just you're gonna have to go old school 
player unknowns here and just turn everything low. So texture filter, turn that to low. Particle quality, turn that to low. Uh, bullet impact and sprays, you don't really need that. Disable it. Tessellation, turn that to near. You can turn it down to disabled so it just looks like meh. But I like to have it on near just because I like to see what ledges I might be stepping across. Um, whenever it comes to your shadow map resolution, go ahead and turn that off. Um, you don't need that. And whenever it comes to FPS games, you it's, it's not a good idea to have a lot of shadows casting where you're trying to look anyways. Um, cache spot shadows. You don't want to save shadows in the cache, so don't, don't worry about that. Um, cache shun shadows. You don't want to do anything whenever it comes to caching anything. Um, whenever it comes to particle lighting, turn that to low. Direct X ray tracing. Go ahead and disable that. Um, ambient occlusion. You don't need that. Go ahead and disable it. And then screen space reflection. Turn that to low. You don't need that on anything else. You don't need to disable it, but just keep it on low. So basically your in-game graphics, it's it's like when you're looking at something, there's going to be a certain reflection. I kind of like it because it looks kind of nice to have a little bit of a reflection on something. So that's just my opinion. Um, but below that, turn your anti-aliasing off. Your depth of field, turn that off. Film it, uh, filmic strength. Turn that to 1.0 or all the way up. World motion blur, disable that because if you're moving around really fast paced, everything is gonna become blurred, including the hostiles you're trying to shoot at. So if you're trying to shoot at an enemy player and you're whipping your mouse around and it's blurry, you probably have world motion blur on. So make sure you got that off. Um, weapon motion blur, um, that's user's preference. Sometimes they like the feel of being able to have that in game feel if you like the realism of whipping your gun really fast and it becoming blurry i mean it's dramatic i don't really care so i'd keep it disabled on top of that it's gonna use less of what you need to run the game film grain go ahead and turn that to zero percent if you have film grain on it's just going to create this fuzzy texture just like this right here but if you have it completely off everything stays clear 100 percent of the time once you do that Click apply settings, go back, and then we're going to jump into a game. We're going to see how this goes. So let's do it. And just to pretty much show this is, this is what we're going to do, right? We're going to show that this game is running just the way it needs to be. Battle Royale. Be advised, gas is closing in. So once we land, you'll be able to see exactly how many frames we're getting while we're in game. Right now, obviously, we're in the air. Everything's trying to register at once. There we go. Now we're out of the plane. Frames are going up. Everything is looking up. 140 frames, guys. 140 frames. Move to the next area and build the perimeter. Your primary objective is to kill them all. This is obviously going to piss off my uh, my teammates just because of me not playing as a team. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, basically you can definitely see the difference between frame rates. Everything is a lot smoother. There's just no issue whatsoever. Everything is just running miraculously better. All right, guys, so I explained everything to you, and uh, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you decided to click on it, I hope it helps you. It definitely helped me. My frame rates just skyrocketed, which is phenomenal. Uh, I've seen a lot better experience whenever I'm playing the game. The game is just more reactive now. 
And if you go into your task manager, I can go ahead and show you this as well. If you go into your task manager, right? Let me let me go into this. So if you go into your task manager, right? Usually Call of Duty is running at about 75, 85, even up to 100% CPU usage. But if you look right here, it's only at 39.3. It's only, I haven't seen it go above 40 at all, which is insane. Guys, I hope this helps. I really do. If, if this doesn't help, I mean, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Also, if you guys could just do me one huge favor, go to the store go to the store because I'm a veteran I like to support veterans so if you go to the store if you want to support your your veterans go down to the Call of Duty endowment go ahead and buy this Call of Duty endowment pack I'm a streamer I don't want anybody come to my channel and throwing donations my way I actually like to give back to the troops so if you can actually go to Call of Duty endowment and the store buy it it actually helps veterans get jobs guys it helps veterans get jobs which is very important to the community especially whenever it comes to people who are defending the united states so guys if you can do me a favor just just do this one thing and help your vets out help your vets get a job but if that's it guys that's it that's all i got for you i hope this helps and i will see you guys next time take it easy bye